Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Irene. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Today I am going to be doing my um, belated 2024 handbag collection. So if you're interested to see what I have in my collection so far, then let's get straight into this video. So we're gonna start off with, I think, some of my older handbags and then quite frankly, I've kind of lost track of the order in which I've purchased the handbags because I've bought and sold handbags throughout the years. I'm just gonna go with some of my older bags and then move my way up into the progression of the newer handbags that I've recently accumulated into my collection. I always say my oldest handbag. This is the first luxury handbag that I've ever bought in my entire life. This was when I first got my big girl job and so this was my Celine. This is the micro, I want to say, the micro Celine belt bag. I've never once thought of selling her and to this day, even though I don't use her very often because she is a little bit of a fussier bag, I still don't think of ever selling her. Beautiful leather, it's in fantastic condition, although like I said, I don't use it very much right now, but yeah, like the interior looks like this, it's just one big gap, but like, yeah, it's just, I love the look of this bag, it's so unique, and I think there's more and more luxury handbags, or like, even mid-range, what do you call them, contemporary designers, nowadays, like Paulin, for instance, that do more unique designs, that are kind of like this, they look geometrical, or very, like, architecturally very interesting, but I think back in the day, I feel like Celine was one of those bags that this bag, specifically in Celine, was one of those bags that had a really interesting structure and design to it that was very different from everyone else. And to this day, it's still beautiful. So this is like my first luxury handbag ever. So right here, this is my YSL. Oh my God, I'm starting to forget the names of these things. Sac du jour. Oh my God. The YSL Sac du jour. Oh my God. And I think this is the baby size. Black caviar. Is it caviar? It's not caviar. It's like calfskin. Very, very nice. Like this was one of my dream bags for the longest time just because it's so sleek. Again, very architecturally interesting. Very minimal. Again, I haven't used used a lot of these bags recently because of lifestyle changes but I'm going to be keeping a lot of them still despite that because just the cost of replacing it if I were to sell it is just not worth it to me if I ever wanted it back so and plus these are in fantastic condition I've kept them in such pristine condition this bag I do love because it does have that middle compartment that pops out so if you guys have seen some of my other previous videos from other years i've had this bag for a long time as well again like i said these bags that i'm initially showing you are some of my oldest bags in my collection but this comes out like a little mini wallet pouch type of thing and then you remove that hence you remove the middle compartment i know it's hard to tell because i have the dust bag and the shoulder strap in here but then it's just one big black hole. The only thing is the inside of this bag is not lined with any sort of fabric. It's more, it's just leather lined. So it is a little bit more prone to scratching. But other than that, it's a very nice sized handbag that I think would be great for everyday use. You're not carrying around a bunch of stuff for yourself or your kids because once you add that into the mixture, it gets to be a tight fit, but this is such a beautiful handbag. I still love it to this day. But yeah, this is the YSL. Again, sac du jour. Can't believe I forget the name of this already. The next bag I'm gonna show you guys is my first ever Louis Vuitton handbag. Before I purchased this handbag, I never really was into Louis Vuitton. After purchasing this handbag, which I always thought was a really basic handbag, I never understood it until I tried it on. And then after that, I kind of fell in love a little bit and started buying more and more from the brand. And so that bag would be this right here. Oh my goodness. This is the Speedy Bandolier 25 in the Damier Ben. And I shortened the strap because there's a middle section that you can add into this to make it extra long for like crossbody wear. I tried this handbag on, I don't even remember what year it was, maybe 2018. And I never understood it. And then I tried it on and I'm like, okay, wait, it's actually kind of really cute. And it holds a ton as I'm sure all of you guys already know. And this was the handbag that opened up the floodgates. For Louis Vuitton for me. I'm gonna show you guys a handbag that I have bought recently so I'm kind of going out of order here but I love it so much that I got it in the size 30. Now I did notice that the difference between these two because this one is older notice how the, uh, the handles the leather and even the strap it's glossy and shiny the new ones are matte which is very interesting I can't say I prefer one over the other I think the matte one's really pretty but it might leave marks if you get lotion on your hands and then you grab it without letting it dry and absorb into your skin first I feel like the matte is very beautiful but I just 
I found it interesting that they changed the leather on the handles and on the strap here. As you can see, this is very matte. There's like not much reflection going on. But yeah, loved it so much because I knew I was going to have a baby that I went and got this in a bigger size in the hopes of using it as a diaper bag. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I have not used this bag hardly ever. I've used it maybe a handful of times with my baby because I just find that I have my Longchamp Le Pliage backpack that I have been wearing a ton just because it's super easy and hands-free. Like I said, this was intentionally supposed to be a baby bag and I think I will definitely still use it that way once my kid gets older but until then she still needs quite a few things with her and like packing her milk with her and then bottle warmers and stuff like that it just takes up a lot of space and so this is still not quite enough space sometimes even though it is massive because of that i haven't really been using any of these handbags let's be real i'm considering if i want to sell one of these like i'm thinking this one but then i was like this one is so it's such a good size for like every day i'm having troubles but they're so similar this one is like harder to use as an everyday bag later down the road but i feel like i might just hang on to both of them in the time being and then just wait and see what actually gets used as time goes on this is my Chanel mini rectangle in lambskin and silver hardware beautiful shiny lambskin I actually need to give all of my handbags a good condition and wipe down this bag is like one of my dream bags from Chanel I used to really want um, the small Chanel classic flap but since it is astronomical in pricing nowadays it's just like it's not even worth it i have so many other places i can put that money and make my money work for me versus spending it on a handbag even though yes it does you know go up in value but i feel like also there's so many classic flaps for sale on the luxury market that it's just like oversaturated at this point i do love this bag and i don't hardly ever use it this bag is definitely one of the bags that i baby the most absolutely hands down if it's this is the most babied the handbag that I have in my entire collection. Chanel lambskin is quite delicate. I have scratched this handbag before. I think I've seen some interior flap scratches here. I've tried to buff it out and sometimes it's very very hard to buff out if they come out at all. So I definitely am much more careful with this handbag than I am with any of my other handbags. I think one Chanel lambskin is good enough. I don't want another one because at the end of the day handbags should be used. They shouldn't be you know babied i do not want any more chanel lambskin pieces unless somehow their chanel lambskin is a lot more tougher i have another piece in my collection that is lambskin but it's totally different and i'll show you guys that in a bit next up i would say it, it would be my fendi peekaboo my mini fendi peekaboo this is one of my bags that i bought pre-loved from luxe du jour i've mentioned them many times on my channel if you've watched my videos before i resale like i consign my items with them when i do want to sell just because it's just has like worry free they take care of the entire transaction for you and i am not sponsored by the way they should reach out to me because i can advocate for your company if you ever want to shout out and reach out and dm me guys but uh yeah let's du jour um i bought this from them it was a fantastic buy because i was eyeing the fendi peekaboo in one of these like nudie colors like neutral tan almost like I don't know cream beige colors it's like a taupe color they call this dove gray actually and this is also what type of skin is this i don't remember what type of leather it is lamb I'm pretty sure or um napa leather napa leather in silver hardware i love this handbag i still love this handbag to this day and i got it for such a good deal when i first bought it the original price or at the time this bag was going for four thousand canadian i was able to purchase it for two thousand dollars pre-loved now fendi i would recommend looking pre-loved if you are interested because I feel like a lot of times they don't necessarily retain their value very well. I have handbag organizers in here because I, when I first received this handbag with it being pre-loved, even though it was in fantastic condition, it is pre-loved bag at the end of the day. The corners here, because it is a very beautiful supple leather, the corners here were a little bit do you see that? Smushed in. It gave the bag a little bit of an older, more used look, which I didn't really want. So I went and I got put um, two of these in I got these from Samorica, by the way. These little felt liner, belt organi uh, felt bag organizers, and it made the world of a difference. I don't know if you guys can tell. Honestly, I've had these bag organizers sitting in here ever since I got the Samorica organizers, which was very shortly after I purchased this bag. They've been sitting in there for years, and so I think it's really helped the bag hold up its shape that even though I took the 
organizer out just now you can't really tell but before trust me take my word for it this bag looked a little bit more sunken in and worn down like it was losing a little bit of its structure here because of the Napa leather but having those inserts in has made the world of a difference it makes it feel brand new anyways the turn lock right here is fantastic it's a great feature and because this is the mini size once you turn it and you lock it here the most easiest way to secure your bag you can't get in it, anything in and out like look how small the opening is compared to when it's open so it's great for ease of access in and out locking it very quickly I love this bag I just can't say enough good things next up would be the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs mini you know what I don't think I'll ever sell this handbag because it is very very useful I love the multiple ways you can carry this bag shoulders bag backpack Pack. You can wear it kind of like a crossbody bum bag type of situation. Very versatile handbag and I love how much it fits inside and the way it opens. It's just very, I like it. It's so cute. It's so cute. It's not like anything that I have in my collection. I used to have the Montessori BB from Louis Vuitton and I've since sold that recently this past year. So I don't have another backpack style handbag and quite frankly, I'm just going to keep this because I think it'll be super cute for my daughter one day. Obviously, I'm not going to give it to her when she's like till she's older and able to appreciate the value of these things. Next up is my Chanel wallet on chain. This is one of those handbags that I have mentioned in one of my videos years ago that I would never buy even though I do like it. Then I made another video unboxing this and uh, saying that I had to eat my own words because it is a beautiful, beautiful piece. I love this handbag and even though I don't really use it right now, I'm definitely going to be keeping this bag forever because the craftsmanship is beautiful even though I bought this in 20 I want to say 2022 2023 no 2022 for sure the leather is caviar leather so I've got black black caviar leather gold hardware I actually still have the sticker on the CC protecting it I'm anal about that and honestly it's so small nobody can tell from far away so I don't care I'm gonna keep it on there for as long as it'll stick it's just a fantastic piece once you know I can go on date nights again and stuff like that and you know go out casually shopping without so many things to carry like how fantastic is this piece it's beautiful I love that because it is guard gold hardware I can make it feel a little bit dressier um, I feel like more silver hardware it's a little bit more casual I love this handbag moving right along we have the Louis Vuitton I love this handbag this is the easy pouch on strap and the black on print leather this handbag is the cutest most like versatile handbag I feel although it doesn't fit very much as you can see it is a little pouch hence easy pouch on strap. What I love about this handbag is just how dainty it is and adorable. It comes with these uh, two straps. So it comes with a gold chain, which is not very thick. So it's like the perfect little dainty little chain, but it has a nice little weight to it. It's not too heavy, but it has a nice little weight so you can carry it like this, super dressy, super cute. I'm sorry, I wanna stand up. It is so stinking adorable. Or you can have that hanging and then it comes with this strap. Now I've talked about this strap before. I've talked about this bag before in my other previous videos and I absolutely love this strap. It's like one of my favorites from Louis Vuitton because of the feature I'm gonna show you guys in a second. It comes like this where you can have, you know, the gold strap here and then the leather strap and wear it like that with the gold chain dangling. If you think that's too obnoxious, just remove the gold, whatever. The best part about this handbag is that you can ex um, extend this leather strap by just simply unbuckling it as easy as that. There's no like crazy belt buckle type of buckle that you have to deal with. And then you clip it back up at the top, just like that. And you've just got yourself now a crossbody bag. And for reference, I am 5'4", and it hits me at the most perfect spot at my at my hip and I just love this and another black on piece coming up clearly I love my speedies because this is the third speedy I have in yet another different size this is a size 20 bandolier this is in complete leather and then it's got like a microfiber lining on the interior I'll show you guys that in just a sec this is the strap that it comes with so it is removable and it is ex like um, adjustable as you can see here and then it's very interesting because it's detail here comes on the both ends of it it's got the chain detailing so it 
it makes it a little bit dressier, which I almost wish they didn't have that. This is one of the bags that I am considering selling. I love this size. It's actually a fantastic size, but I have a lot of handbags in my collection that I do reach for over this guy. I'm still debating about it, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna be one of the ones that I'm gonna consign, even though it is in fantastic, like brand new condition pretty much. The interior is just one big black hole. It's got one side, a little pocket on the side here. You can't see because it's completely black inside. If you're worried about the, um, like how wide the opening is because it is a smaller speedy, that they did a very good job on designing this because they extended the zipper both sides it is a dual zipper so it is very easy to get in and out as you can see like it it's fantastic and it fits a ton like it's a great size if you think the 25 is too big because I remember before having been, been my child and I that was always very big for me because I didn't carry very much around with me and so it felt kind of like a waste of space and effort to bring around such a big bag and just have most of it empty. This would be a very good size for someone who is also the same way. So yeah, this one might be on the chopping block very, very soon. This next bag here is my one and only handbag from Burberry. So this is, oh my God, I forget the name of it. I'm gonna look it up and I'll put it in here somewhere. Yeah, this handbag is a little like crossbody messenger type of bag. It is adorable. I love, I, like, obviously the classic Burberry checkered print here. I just love how classic it is. It's like an equestrian feel to it. This is again one of those handbags that I'm not going to really think about ever selling just because it's such a classic piece that I don't think it'll go out of style for a long long time. It's just so classic. It's so simple. Like the silhouette is just a simple little crossbody. Um, it's got more space in it than say my Chanel wallet on chain because it's got more width here so you can definitely carry more things in here but I wouldn't say it carries a ton maybe more than the easy pouch on strap though just because if you look at the width it is definitely a little bit more it gives you more room to work with but yeah it's a beautiful handbag the, the quality the craftsmanship is fantastic I do have to say this leather is fantastic it's very smooth beautiful and it's not delicate whatsoever despite it being a smooth leather so now we are certainly moving into like the newer end of my collection I have here I remember this handbag so the Prada re-edition what is this 2000 no 19 I don't remember what re-edition it is 1995 what does it say Oh, it says right here, 2005 re-edition. I remember purchasing this specifically for my belated honeymoon trip to Asia. So I went to Singapore and Malaysia and I needed a very carefree handbag. I mean, did I need one that was luxury? No, but did I go and get one? Yes. I purchased this and I did do an unboxing of this. So if you want to go and see it, feel free to go check it out. This bag, like another bag that I thought I would never purchase because you're paying so much for nylon and a few pieces of small tabs of leather and really it's just the name that you're paying for and I swore I would never buy this handbag until I started looking up, you know, easy, travel-friendly, light, carefree, water-resistant handbags that you could just throw around and you wouldn't worry about. That was also very good in terms of like sizing and ways you can wear it. Like I was trying to think of all the handbags I could find and I didn't have one in my collection at the time that fit all the criteria so I made my way down to Prada you know did I overpay for it I think so definitely like it's not worth 2000 something that I paid for this but um, I'm going to keep it because I don't think it's worth it to resell it in my opinion not at this point in time not for me um, it is a very very versatile handbag and it's very carefree and I do like it for when you want to go for like a very casual like sporty chic kind of look where you're not really trying but you want to dress it up just a little bit with something fancier like to have this and you have so many different ways of wearing the crossbody strap as I'm sure you guys know what it looks like you guys saw that black canvas strap I took out right and like so it's it's very it's a very versatile handbag it is a very nice handbag you can dress it up like this for an evening look you can take out this crossbody strap and like use it as a more sporty look you know and it does hold a decent amount in here and it is very carefree it's black like you really can't mess up with this bag do i regret it no and will i keep it probably i think this would be a good bag to i'm just justifying everything with my daughter now i think it would be a good bag to you know hand down to my daughter you know as one of her first handbags it is a bag that you can, it's hard for you to really destroy so I think 
you know, to give her some practice in taking care of luxury handbags, I can give her this just to see how she does. Now, on my trip to Malaysia and Singapore, while I was in Malaysia, because the exchange rate is very good there, and when I was there, we found out that the government at the time was kind of just new in power and they were trying to figure out their systems, they didn't have a t sales tax. They had canceled it. So we didn't have to pay sales tax because of that. And the fact that, uh oh, and the fact that we had really good exchange rate in Canadian dollars. I went looking in Loewe and bought my first ever Loewe handbag. This is the mini Loewe puzzle bag. I love this handbag. When I bought it, I started using her immediately while I was on my travels. Fantastic. It holds my camera, which is the G7X from Canon. Like, proper like people use it for vlogging I don't vlog it fit in here it fit my phone it fit you know some of the little things like eye drops lip chap you know a little compact it fit everything in here in this tiny little thing and I just love it the only gripe with I have with this handbag which honestly it's not a huge deal because I solved it anyways is that the handbag like the, the, this shoulder strap is too long what I do is I just wrap it around a couple of times here as you can see and it shortens it perfectly other people like Loewe will show you how to braid it and tie this a certain way to shorten the strap which is very pretty but I love this handbag it is silver hardware it's got it's a is this the smooth I think this is the smooth leather it's a very good bag for traveling because it's very like low-key you don't know it's a luxury handbag unless you know luxury handbags the zipper closure it's got a flap that's like it's hard you can't it's hard to get into this bag so I love this. Now I loved the Loewe Mini so much that I went and purchased the Loewe small puzzle bag in, what color is this? I think it's called Sand. Both of these are the classic puzzle bag, the way they used to sew it. I know now they have like the edge version as well. I don't know if they still have this version. Some people are saying they do. Some people are saying they're discontinuing it. I don't know which one's true or not. I loved it so much that I had to purchase this one because the prices were going up as they do. I noticed that this bag was like a few hundred dollars cheaper at Saks, Saks Fifth Avenue. And so I purchased it in person at my Saks store. The small is perfect and I have it adjusted to the shortest strap as a shoulder bag I wear it and I love it so much it's like fantastic size it carries a ton and honestly it's the same thing as the mini but obviously bigger um, I think the medium I've never tried on the medium I feel like the medium would be very very large on my frame it's just this huge hole inside I love it anyways if I were to take out the shaper the bag slouches more which I used to not love slouchy bags I used to want all my handbags to keep their structural shape nowadays I really like a slouchy looking handbag so if I were to take this out I probably would take out the handbag organizer. That's my love for this handbag and I think that's all I'm going to be buying because this bag I remember when I purchased it, it was like 4,000 something. It was very very pricey handbag purchase now that I'm thinking about it and after not ha having bought like a luxury handbag and even though it's not been that long like a year my pro I guess my priorities have changed. I can't fathom spending even three thousand dollars on another handbag let alone like over four grand. So I'm not going to be selling her, but I, I I can't believe I spent that much. We're down to our last three handbags, and they're all Louis Vuitton. So if you've made it this far, I love you guys. Thank you for supporting. I don't have a particular order. I'm just going to do it. This bag is the Louis Vuitton Cousin, I think is how you pronounce it. This is my other lambskin handbag that I was going to tell you guys about. This lambskin is phenomenal. It's beautiful. This handbag is beautiful. I saw it when it was going kind of viral, when it had its moment of fame all over social media because like, you know, apparently Louis Vuitton was sending it to all the influencers for free and was like irritating people and, you know, giving them the ick. I didn't like the handbag, just looking at videos, pictures, things like that on social media until I saw it in person and you see and you feel this handbag and you try it on game over. When I went into that Louis Vuitton store that one time, I had intentions of looking at the Pochette Matisse because people always say it's a really good mom bag, you know, all that. And I was at that time pregnant. And so I was like, oh, I'll take a look at the Pochette Matisse. Then they show me this bag. Like I said, game over. I tried it on. I bought the Pochette Matisse, came back and returned it and got this bag instead because it is so beautiful. There are quite a few cons to it. Number one, it is expensive. Like, again, I can't believe I spent that much on this bag. Like, it hurts me to think of how much I spent on this handbag and for how little I use it right now. It is a freaking beautiful handbag. The leather 
Do you see how plush this is? Do you see that? Do you see the like the embossing and how deep it goes? Like it's just. I look at this handbag almost every day because right now I have it stored here for a sec like a hot minute. I look at this handbag every day and I'm like, oh my god, she's so pretty. I want to wear her. And you'd think that she carries a ton, but you know, like with the way that it is, it's really just three skinny pouches sewn together at the top kind of thing. So when you have skinny pouches, at the end of the day, skinny pouches don't hold that much. Like you can stretch it a little bit, like for sure. But then it gets to be very bulky. Now, it's a heavy ass handbag. Like this is all leather lined because I got the updated version. The original version that came out in 2000, God knows what, 2021, it had like a microfiber suede type of lining. I don't know if it was any lighter the weight, but um, this thing is entirely leather. And then obviously you've got this thick chain which I think is beautiful it dresses up the bag so wonderfully but this is so heavy this thing is like you can take someone out real good with this thing because it is it's it's not to be joked with it's beautiful but it's a heavy bag so if you were to fill it up real good <laughs> I, I just can't imagine this thing being like super comfortable to wear. Why I love this handbag and why I was able to justify getting it was I think because my husband was paying a portion for it and I was just, I had that itch. I wanted to get something. You guys know that? Like I haven't had that in a long time, thank goodness. And like knock on wood, it doesn't happen anytime soon or ever again. But I was able to justify it because it also came with this canvas strap, which is adjustable, detachable, and you can wear this bag a lot more like sporty, which I really do like it. So if you were to wear like a little shirt like this and then like a, like a what, what do you call them a onesie not a onesie oh god a jumpsuit no that's not the right word you know the whole thing where you've got like the black like you know it's just like the onesie thing that's like leggings and then it's connected to a tank top and it's all one piece what are they called oh my god regardless you know what i'm talking about i hope you know what i'm talking about anyways something super casual with some sneakers or you know whatever sandals and you throw this on with this it would be such a cute bag and i think you can definitely pull it off summer winter doesn't matter and then because it is like a bigger bag i could wear it in the winter over my big chunky coats or parkas and adjustable bed a strap means i can adjust the length so that over my big chunky parkas it still sits at a good length and not like super high and awkward on me so i love this handbag and there were moments when i thought about selling it but then i'm like looking online the resale value of this not looking good usually Louis Vuitton is quite decent with the resale value I think it's just the popularity of this bad bag not a lot of people bought into it or are a fan of it so like supply and demand it affects the price of the resale value so yeah I'm gonna keep her she's beautiful and it's um yeah this is the leather that I do not baby this this leather is fantastic it's not anywhere near the Chanel lambskin that I have to baby to death and still I still get scratches on it it's it's super annoying this guy I actually was on TikTok damn you TikTok. Another mom, a new mom, at that time I think I was again pregnant, this new mom was uh, trying on this bag in store and asking her viewers for their opinion on whether they should get it, they should get, purchase it or not. And then apparently they went and purchased it the next day and did another video on that. I watched them both and she sold me on it. She was wearing leggings and a sweatshirt, threw this bag over top of her outfit and she looked so stinking cute like a cute little hot mom that I was like, oh, I want that too. So I went and hunted this bag down and purchased her. Another reason I was able to justify this bag is because they had updated this handbag and re-released it so that it is re uh, adjustable and removable strap and the old version wasn't. So I was able to justify it despite the price increase. Honestly, this bag, when I bought it, I did use it quite a few times actually. I loved it. I loved this bag so much. It holds a good ton it fits my phone in here so like if I show you my phone what is my phone it's an old one it's like an iPhone 11 it's this size okay this is my face this is my phone and it fits in here no problems it is fantastic okay and with tons of room to spare so like it holds all of my necessities like all my stuff goes in here like and it's it, it's it's huge inside like you can fit a full-on wallet if you like not a long wallet but like you know a wallet Anyways, this bag is fantastic and I love it. I love it so much. Even though I don't usually like Vachetta, Vachetta, whatever you call it, I made an exception for this one because I think they are slightly pre-treated. It's not super, super pale, like pure 
new baby new vaquetta that you see in store Louis Vuitton with like let's say their speedies or their nipples. This one's definitely got a pre-tan to it so I don't have to baby it as much either. And again, another handbag that I think I'll be saving for my daughter when she gets older. So that's another way I was able to justify it. So, um, and then I'm thinking like, you know, 15 years down the road, 16, maybe, maybe even 18 years down the road, these bags would have gone up so much that I would have gotten a, 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 like a steal for her. Girl math, girl math. This bag, this is the, oh my God, what is this called? Um, Pochette Essessois, yes. This is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Essessois. And I think this is, again, one of the more updated versions I think they actually don't even sell this one anymore. I think they have a whole different set. Anyways, when I bought it, it was the most recent version at the time, obviously. I'm so dumb. Has the Vachetta leather again. Um, this one is a little bit more pale, so I did pre-treat it a little bit. If you are interested, just ask me in the comments down below. I'll try to find what products I used. I do have them still, and I do know what I used. I just don't remember the names off the top of my head. I purchased this as my last purchase. I didn't plan for it to be my last purchase. Actually, I did because I did buy a lot of handbags while I was pregnant. I was able to justify this one because I wanted a handbag that I could use while I was using my diaper bag and feeling less glamorous. I could have this as my pouch inside my diaper bag with my, you know, wallet, my keys, my essentials and stuff like that in here. Eye drops, Kleenex, hand sanitizer, all those things in here and have this be able to slip inside of my diaper bag. And honestly, I did use it for that for quite a while, but now I just, I'm too lazy, honestly. But yeah, this, honestly, if you are thinking of having a bag like that as an option, this is fantastic for it. I did use it for that and it holds a ton considering the size, like, because it is also just a canvas, it's like a very flexible, malleable material. Like you can stuff it and it holds a good ton in there. And I have stuff in here apparently. So I I, care, I have my wallet mini O case that was in here. So I'll just show you guys. It's not empty in here. Um, and then I have just a couple of things. Like I've got tie to go, a little hair tie, which I could use right now. I'm boiling. Um, hand sanitizer and eye drops. And so I had those in here and it was not even close to being full. And it's even got a little side pouch right here, but that's all that it, there is to it. It's super, super functional piece it's like an og classic piece which i like i said i think i looked the other day and i don't think they have this version on louis vuitton's website anymore so correct me if i'm wrong i don't know but um yeah this side can be detached i mean both sides could be detached um this side is just a different type of detachment it's like a leather loop rather than a d ring clip thing yeah so you can re remove that and then switch it out for a longer strap as a crossbody bag which i've done that as well before um love this handbag i just haven't been using it so i did lie it's not my last handbag purchase i did buy this one but like i said this one was not thousands of dollars this one was was it 600 something dollars i don't remember i also did an unboxing on this one i'm pretty sure so if you guys want to go and check i did have the price listed in there i can't remember off the top of my head this is a pollen seam tote bag and this is in the large size i got this in the color I can't remember the name. This is the more ready color of the tan colors. There's one that's lighter that a lot of people go for. I think that one's called the camel. This one is some other fancy name that I can't remember right now. It's just a massive hole. I know this bag went viral a while back, but it is a very functional tote. The only complaint I have about it are actually a few things. That it doesn't stand up well on its own when you lay it on a surface. It has a tendency to flop over, okay? The interior, I've mentioned this in my other video is that it's got these like little flaps because you know the cool structure that it has in the front here they basically fold it in and the leather and sewed it on the inside i wish they just cut it or sewed it down somehow because now it sticks out and it kind of takes up space and it makes it awkward to fit like let's say a laptop in here you really have to position it right in the center of the bag between all the folds so that it's not sitting all wonky and making the bag fall over. This bag is aesthetically so pleasing. I love looking at this handbag. I haven't really worn it very much because it is a tote bag and it doesn't have like a zipper. I just like my things to be a little bit more secure, especially with baby's things in there all the time. I just don't want to put everything into little pouches. It's just too much. I do plan on using her more during the summer though, just because I feel like it's just such a cute summery color. The straps are beautiful. I love the straps. I love carrying it this way and having those straps fall forward and just let it hang very like carefree casual easy going look it's just such an architecturally interesting oh my god sorry i kicked the thing 
architecturally interesting handbag. Anyways, that was my last handbag. Thank you guys so much if you guys have lasted through this entire video with me. Um, I really appreciate you guys' support and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below and I will try my best to get back to you. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you.